two, three, four. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just counting up to see if I could afford this next plugin, which is uh, one that I think you guys are really going to want to afford. I've been using it for about two weeks now on trial mode. And when you think compressor plugins, you think dynamics, you think mastering, you think buses, drums hitting, clarity, compressing the low end, multiband. You're going to love this plugin. You're going to need it. <laughs> we all need another plugin. Plugin of the week. Let's go. Dyne 1 3 by Leapwing Audio. I'm going to get into it. It's awesome. There's something really special about this plugin. I've used so many different compressors, multiband compressors, limiters on the master bus. And for some reason, when I use this plugin, I just get exactly what I want. It's very musical. It's very just pristine sounding. The filters in it, I think, are probably the best thing. So what I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to show you how I used it on my latest single, the After All, to get really that radio ready quality to the song. And I used two instances of Dyne Audio, uh, Dyne 1-3 from Leapwing on the Master Bus. So let's get right into the session. I'm going to play you a little bit of the song. Okay, so that's without the Dyne 1 instances, and I have two instances. I'll show you exactly why I have two instances, but here's after I've initiated the Dyne 1s. Another night on the town Hand in hand all alone Right down the boulevard Floating now Sorry, just getting lost in the music a little bit there. Okay, so let's open up the interface. Let's check out the plugin because it's special. I have it in trial mode. I'm still testing it out, but I'm definitely going to buy this thing. It's $199, and I think you get two licenses for it, okay? So let's look at this. Now, I have a couple modes I can do with this plugin, and this is why I'm using two. There's a parallel mode, okay? On this first one, I have the parallel mode off, so it's actually limiting. On the second one, I have the parallel mode on, which means that I'm adding parallel compression into the full mix, okay? So let's just kind of break this down a little bit because it looks a little bit complex, but really it's a very beautiful interface. It's scalable because it's retina, so you can actually move it in and out on Pro Tools, but you can't do it for some reason in Logic Pro. You should be able to grab this uh, corner and bring it up and down, but uh, maybe it's because of the trial. I don't know. So... This is the bands here. When you first turn it on, you initiate it, everything's linked. So all these bands will be all linked. You also have a little quick key here that says unlink and link, um, and it'll remember what you linked, which is really dope. But let's look at these bands and let's look at what we got going on. So I'm gonna kill this settings area. And you have a low band, low frequency band. You have your threshold, you have your um, ratio here, and then you have your minimum attack and maximum attack in milliseconds, which I think is really cool. So you can actually scale these out. So you can say like a minimum attack and a maximum attack length, which if you want like a punchier sound, you can go a little bit faster on the attack for the minimum. Um, I have it so that the uh, transients are coming through basically. All right, so this is kind of default. And then you also have the minimum release and maximum release, which is really cool as well. It just makes it a much more musical compressor and it just gives a good feel to everything. And then here, I'm just going 1.2 to one on the low end. I have 1.85, 2.69. I'm compressing the mids a little bit harder. And then you can see uh, on the meters how the compression is hitting when I play this real quick. And the meters are really pretty as well. Right down the boulevard Floating out the window I'm not the only one you want but I 
So something I use this plugin for so far as I'm working with it is to just kind of catch peaks on the tops and to control the low end a little bit more when I'm in actual like limiting mode, which is like compression on all the bands and you are going full on no parallel mode. There's no parallel processing going on. Um, another thing you have here is you have some under the hood features, which I think are really cool. And that's why I had it open when I first had it when I first showed you the plugin. So there's a detection mode where you can say, I want to detect more towards RMS or more towards peak, which is really cool. So you can say like, hey, I want to go 100% peak or I can go 100% RMS or I can kind of blend in the middle. So that's what it would be detecting. I'm detecting RMS on this and because I'm just limiting and I'm just kind of taming some stuff. And then you have channel link, which is really cool. You have multi mono or stereo. So you can say, hey, treat the left sides or, or the left and right sides, treat them independently. Like it's like you're compressing the left and the right independently, or you can say go stereo full on length, right? So treat the left and the right exactly the same, no matter if the, the differences are happening. I have it at zero because I found you get a lot more stereo width out of it, but you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. And then waiting, this is very, very basic. It basically is saying, do you want to weight it towards single bands or do you want all the bands to be treated and weighted the same, right? So uh, if you go like open this up and you go all the way to zero, you're really weighting the bands more um, independently. Like if you have a lot of low end information, it's going to independently weight that. So I have it at 50%. Uh, global band trim is really cool because once you set everything, you can take this down and go, hey, I can gain this down 50 dB or gain it up 50 dB, which gives you some really, really cool stuff that you can do. For example, this maxes out at 12 dB of gain. If let's say I want to smash the crap out of the low end and then blend it back in in parallel mode, I can go 12 dB of gain plus another 50. So you got 62 dB of gain. That's insane to me. Uh, and then you have these bands linked, unlinked. I showed you that parallel mode, on, off, left, right mode. I don't typically show you guys all this stuff in the plugin of the week, but I figured I'd run you through this one because it's pretty special. Um, parallel mode is going to be parallel compression. And then crossover filters. This is where this thing really shines. This is where you're going to get the quality and you're also going to get your computer to just go, oh my God, I can't handle that. So <laughs> highly recommend you keep it on either low level or ultra Q as you're mixing and then when you go to render if you have it in ultra queue you can do offline rendering on the master queue um, i can't show you it in ultra queue on ecamm because the capture the screen capture will just it'll just choke out but the filter the crossover filters are incredibly clean and incredibly inaudible which is what makes this thing so pristine so i'll leave this on low level and when i go to render bounce offline i turn it back to master quality that's basically it master quality filters they're so good and then you also have the ability to change the filters um cut off right the crossover point so you can come in here and go hey i want them to cross over to 100 hertz or 100 and you know 50 or 200 or whatever so the default, I think, is 160, 150, somewhere around there. Okay, so then the best thing about this thing is the filter slope and the channel mode. So you can actually go left, right, which is stereo, or you can go center and sides, which is like a mid-side mode, right? But they call it center sides because I think they actually have a different algorithm for it, which is awesome. So if you're doing center side, you get this little guy that lights up. They are linked if you unlink them, you can just now treat the center. Let's say you want to compress the vocal a little bit more. Like, let's try it out. Let's just give it a shot.
that is so powerful with this plugin, the fact that you can actually do that. And I'm sorry again for the, the delay and the computer crapping out. It's just that this session is very heavy and these processors are, you know, I got quite a few things on the master bus. But this plugin is so incredibly powerful. Like the parallel mode for me, being able to just like smash stuff, do the sides differently than the center, uh, put it back into stereo mode, whatever you want to do, mess around. But you can hear instantly how it starts to sound more like a record when it's on. And when you take it off, you kind of go, everything kind of like loosens into kind of gel. It gets really jelly. Um, and then this just kind of focuses everything. And it's a plugin I just have found that is super clean. It's super punchy. It makes things sound like a record and it gets you to the finish line quicker. Um, so that's really it on Dyn 1. And what I was doing here with my settings and how I was using this is I was using this to limit and catch peaks. And then the second Dyn 1, 3, I was using it in parallel mode. And I was using it just to tighten up the rep record and then also shape things. So you can see here I'm down uh, 1.8 on the low end here. I'm compressing at 1.8 to 1. And I'm just kind of compressing the bands. You can solo them out so you can really hear what's going on. And you can even go in and bypass the bands so that maybe you only want a three band compressor going on. Maybe you only want to compress... Uh, the middle and the top or maybe you want to go hey I want to do the low end and I want to give the top end some compression and I want to just kind of make it a little more smiley face and a little bit more radio ready and there you go that's Dyn 1 Leapwing highly recommend you pick it up and also you guys if you haven't already subscribe to the channel I mean you're going to get notifications of all the great videos we're going to be dropping the radium podcast the mixing series and all that stuff that's going to teach you as much as i can on this mix master process production stuff and i got a little freebie in the description as well for you so you can download my logic pro session template and five free channel strips which will help you get your mixes and everything better as well and I'm always here, you guys. If you ever need any mixing or mastering, you need any help with anything, let me know. Hit me anytime. Bradley at radium-media.com. Hope to see you on the next plugin of the week. Mix series, Radium Podcast. We're out of here.